new project, select the default stuff they give you, X delete, then add mesh plane. As to scale this one up, and this size should be good. Then let's give it more geometry, Control 4, then go here to your properties and hit apply. Then when you go to add mode, you already see more geometry to work with, but I want some more. So Control 2 this time should be fine, add it in two cuts. So each vertice is in two cuts. Okay, this should be great to work with. Then 7 for my top view, I like to work like this. Click next to this, and then hold Control right click and select the area that you want your volcano to be influenced by. Then also hit this proportional editing and usually we extrude but this time I'm going to use G because I have proportional editing on and everything else will be influenced by that. So if I scroll up and down you can see the circle of influence and also hit Z to align to the Z axis something like this and then the influence of the circle like this and then click to confirm. Okay let's add another level to this. So, right click while holding control. I want this part to go up as well. Then GZ, and then scroll in and out with your mouse. Something like this should be fine. And let's add one more level, control, and then right click. Okay, this will be the top part of my creator. So, GZ, and then something like this should be fine. Okay, first let's color this in. Have the viewport shader here selected, A. And for today, I'm going to create three materials. Okay, the first one right here, let's already click Assign. Now we don't want a white volcano, but more of a brownish one. So something like this should look cool. The second material, I also want it a bit brown, but different brown. And the last one, make it more orange or red, something like this. Okay, what we're now going to do, select A to select everything and then F3 on my keyboard and I'm going to do random because I want here random transform. Now you can see already this effect this is a bit too much but you can bring it down to 0 0.01 and this gives it more that low poly look that you really would like. Now you can skip that skip but uh, this should be cool if you want it like that. Then I'm going to select the faces, then A click, F3, once more, type in random, and this time select random, but I'm going to go with deselect this time. And you can select or deselect how much you would like, and you can also choose random seats for this, so I think maybe this one looks cool, and then assign that second material to that spot. Now you can also open this one up again and make it more darker or lighter, so it gives some variation inside of your mountain. I think I like something like this. Okay, then it's a good tutorial for selecting because now with C to select, select the part of the mountain that you want to extrude down. So E to extrude down, maybe with proportional editing still on, uh, G, Z is a little bit better. Yeah, I like that creator much better. Okay, then with C select here and then go something like this. You can now right click and then click off proportional editing. And now I'm going to extrude down, so EZ, so you get something like, like this, so the lava really comes out. We can fix this thing later. And then click here and hit Assign, okay? Now, for these parts here, we can go into Edge, Select Mode, select the top parts here with Shift click, then GZ, click, also these parts, GZ, Okay, and what you can also do is here with proportional editing and then move this around as you would like your volcano to be. Okay, then something like this should work. But what you can also do, this is up to you, is go right click, shade smooth, and it's maybe a volcano of type like that you would like. Or if you want more the low poly look, you can go with this and create your low poly volcano for your games. And then go to File, Export. FBX, and then you choose your destination. By the way, I uh, have to select this. So select, file, export, FBX. Have selected objects here. So we don't need the camera, we don't need the lamp. So everything else should be fine if we have it already. But I don't have an armature either, but with select objects, this will be fine. Then geometry, 
I'm going to select it to face. We don't have animations. Here, click export to FBX, and then you can load it into any project that you would like with your volcano inside of it.